Hello and welcome. I am Mix of Light and this is my channel. Today I'm going to tell you about a story that was sent to me by Brian over at Diabolical Witness. And if you haven't already, please go over and see his channel. I think that you'll really enjoy it. Again, that is Diabolical Witness. And thank you, Brian. He sent it to me saying that this is right up my alley. And when you hear it, I think you'll agree. It's about the Sheriff's Department investigating a ghost sighting in a California mountain. All right, before we get started, if you would please give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate that so much. And if you'd like to be subscribed, please do so. When we get to 3,000 subscribers, there is going to be a giveaway on here. All right, let's go. A family in California says that they experienced a strange ghost-like sighting, which, for the record, most tend to be in the Madera County Mountains. And it prompted the police to investigate even further. Jake Gorba and his wife, Victoria, and their three children decided to take a four-wheeler up to Shut Eye Peak. The family stopped to eat lunch, have a little picnic, and that's when the couple's three-year-old son, Caden, began talking to someone. His mom says that he was just in their car and he was pointing out to a certain spot in the meadow. Caden told his parents that there was a woman lying face down with her legs straight up in the air in a nearby meadow. According to Caden, the woman was unable to speak or move and he said that she needed help. Victoria is quoted as saying, he said, yeah, there's a lady over in the meadow in a black shirt. And Victoria got goosebumps. Then he said, she needs our help, but she's dead. And she's lying face down with her legs up in the air. And she can't talk to me, but she's over there. We need to go help her. Jake and Victoria did go check out the meadow and they said they saw nothing, but he kept saying, Trust me, trust me, Mom. And Victoria said, I trust you, and I know that I believe you 100%. The family was so spooked by what their three-year-old had so adamantly shared with them that they decided to end their day early and go home. Then they posted about their strange occurrence on Facebook, as one does these days. Again, Victoria was quoted as saying, we put it on Facebook to see if anybody knew anything about the area and come to find out that there was a lady missing with the description that he described to us within a five mile radius of where we were. Sandra Hughes had gone missing in that area in June of 2020. According to Victoria, her three-year-old's detailed description of the woman's hair and her clothing was identical to the description of Hughes. Victoria said that her son, Caden, was very adamant that they needed to help her, and he described her down to her blue hair. He said that she had on a black shirt, blue jeans, and blue hair, Mom. And that's exactly the description given of Sandra on the day she disappeared. Victoria said that Caden was also able to identify Sandra's photo when he was shown different photos of women. Madera County Sheriff Corporal Chris Williams saw the Facebook post and contacted the family to investigate further. The corporal in charge of the case actually reached out to them on Facebook and asked if they would go with him to the meadow and show him exactly where Caden had described this woman to be. Corporal Williams had been looking into the Hughes disappearance since the very beginning of the investigation. So two Madera County Sheriff's deputies traveled back up to the meadow with Jake and his son to investigate. The deputies found no new evidence and the case still remains open. Caden's mother is again quoted as saying, if she was possibly a ghost looking for some help, I hope that he could have at least helped and maybe helped the family find her because it's been a long time apparently since she's been gone. The four-wheeler that the family took up on this picnic, well, they said that this whole spooky experience has caused them to name it the Ghost Runner, and it is for sale now. And although the family says they will continue visiting different trails up the mountain, 
there are definitely some areas that they will no longer be visiting. The Madera County Sheriff's Office did confirm that they did receive a report of a possible sighting. They said that they went to the location for leads, but they found nothing new. So what do you think? I think they should put more stock into what this little boy is describing. I think they should do a whole lot more investigating of the area and bring in some equipment. It's very interesting. Tell me what you think. Do you think that they should believe this three-year-old? Or would you write it off as just a three-year-old's nonsense that is coincidentally exactly the same as a missing woman's identity? Thank you for coming. Good night.